I will explain you in five minutes how the Norwegian pension is working. It's quite a complex subject as it's really uh, difficult to have good insights in it. It would take like hours to explain everything, but I will make it a little bit easy for you, an easy version to only explain you the basics. And I provide all the links in the description bo down below where you can read the full guide from the uh, official site in Norway when you know everything about the pension in Norway. But still yet, they're always changing the rules and it's really mind-blowing that they try to have the pension from 72 years. <laughs> so you're nearly like uh, dead before you can have a pension and retirement. I hope they will not... Uh, managed to get through with this. <laughs> At least in my case, I, I don't want to work like until 72. I try to aim like 62, but it depends how many years you work in Norway, how much uh, points you have and what pension you will get out in the end. And it's really difficult to be 100% sure due to changing of uh, rules all the time. So in 30 years, it can be quite different rules and you, it's also possible that you lose your pension um, amount or you get more. You never know what the future brings and what the politicians decide from over the years. So here I prepared the site. It's uh, nav.no. It's the official site where you can read about the pension in Norway. And here it's actually standing that you have to live like uh, five years in, in, uh, in Norway, at least five years. Here you can see it. And if you would like to have a full pension, you have to live here for 40 years. And the pension has three parts in Norway. They call it from Folketrykten, it's from uh, NAV. And then uh, they call it AFP. This is the part from your employer, which is paying you um, it's law regulated 2.3% of your income each year. And if you find a good company, they pay more like up to seven. In that case, it will be like uh, you pay 2% of your own uh, income and the company will pay 5%. So you get a higher overall pension if you retire. And the third part is your own savings. And you can argue or have a discussion. Is it worth at all to aim for good pension or not? Well, even in my case, I have no idea <laughs> if I would get a good pension or not. Here's a different site. It's noskpension.nu where you can check all information, all employees. They uh, In Norway, it's everything digital. So if you log in with your personal number and uh, ID, you will uh, get a comparison from all the employees and how much is paid due to the day today. So I also provide a calculator where you can just put some different uh, numbers in it according to your uh, income, how many years you expect to work in Norway. Here I made the basic for my birth date and uh, average income about 600,000. It might be more in the future, I don't know. When I put in 41 years, this is my expectation about working in Norway. And here you see I would get 278,000 totally. But now it's the interesting part. If I change the years from 41, let's see only 10 years, it's getting less like 75,000. It's a lot if you're going old. I think it's a lot of money each month. But then you can argue or have a discussion. Is it then worth at all to work like 41 years and have still a small pension? I don't have an answer to that. Maybe you have an answer to it. I would like to hear it down in the comments. So just let me know what you think about it. And here also as well, if you work like for the Norwegian government, you have the same like AFP, but it's uh, again different rules and it's really complex. <laughs> it would uh, take hours if I would explain everything. Just to write it down, you have to work at least five years in Norway. And if you would like to earn the full pension, it's 40 years. Some people told me that they have worked like 10 years in Norway and they don't get a pension at all. This was really surprising in my case. Uh, it's really strange. I don't know the in-depth information or background to that, but uh, here you have it on, on uh, written down. Those people who, uh, who said that, they should maybe then go to NAV and say, hey, this is here are the rules. Why are you giving me or telling me this? And this is not right. I hope. <laughs> I could give you some insights about it and the links I provide to you 
is helping you. Uh, in any case, they also have different regulations if you're born before 1963 or after 1963 or before 1954. So it's really, it's really hard to cover. It's a big, big, big subject. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.